Can we talk about some of the best practices that organizations are using in their target costing methodology? Sure. I'll say it starts with this. It starts at the top, like a lot of things do. So what I mean by that is executive management has to be on board. They have to be a champion of target costing or it will fail miserably because it'll get lost in budget cuts or in um, resource constraints. So the first best practice of target costing is really that the top level management wants it and they see the value in it and they're a champion of the implementation. Then from there, it's really on how target costing gets set up in the organization. You know, where does it lie in the organizational chain? Um, you want to make sure that target costing is in an independent area of the organization so that it's not influenced in a negative way um, by, by the organization that it's in. A lot of times you'll find it works really well in finance. Um, I don't really like it in purchasing, but I have seen it in purchasing before. It depends on how you have the controls in place. Um, so once you've got the top level management backing, you've got it set up correctly in the organization, then the next step really is to um, look at how you're going to have cross-functional involvement. So, you know, in a product development organization, for example, that looks like and a project or a program team that gets put together has um, a target cost representative on that team as well as finance, purchasing, manufacturing, um, engineering to have all the input um, into that process from the beginning all the way to when you get to production. So cross-functional involvement is very important. And then from there, it's really just a matter of making sure that um, you know, everyone's involved up front and you're monitoring your costs along the way, maturing those costs as you get closer to the point of production or launching your service, and um, staying true to the customer requirements. Those are very key and a lot of companies kind of lose sight of what was it that the customer really wanted because they get caught up in, ooh, this is really cool new technology, I want to use it even if the customer's not ready for it, or boy, I really do like this grill, it's gorgeous, and I want to put it in our next product even though the customer doesn't care about it. So those are some of the um, potholes that, that some companies get caught up in along the way. Um, you know, when I worked in the transportation industry, a lot of times we'd call it the, um, this is the leadership pet project, they love it. We don't think we're gonna sell any of them, but you know what, I'm assigned to work on it, so here we go. <laughs> so those are some of the best practices of target costing.